spokesperson for the Citizens Energy Task Force. And you can, you know, just look at the camera at all. What, um, we talked, uh, there was a lot of talk about the health concerns. Can you talk about that a little bit and what your, your specific concerns are? Yeah, many people here are concerned about the electromagnetic fields that come out of 345 high voltage transmission lines, and these cause childhood leukemia if, if you live close to the power line, within 165 feet of the power line. Um, the chances of getting leukemia, childhood leukemia, are double. The same with Alzheimer's and, and, and senior dementia. So uh, the right of way is only 150 feet, which means homes could be built as close as 75 feet to the power line. And that's still way within uh, what uh, health officials feel like is, is safe to, to live. So there's a potential risk here for children and, and seniors. And the studies that the state has done don't indicate that there is a concern. Where where are the conflicts, and you know, where do you guys get your information? Because you know there are these concerns. Wait, the, I think what was discussed here tonight, which is very instructive, is that um, XL Energy is saying that there's no cause and effect. Um, what we're saying is that the research that we've done with, through e epidemiological journals is that there are associations, high associations, which is accepted that the, the rates of leukemia, childhood leukemia are doubled next to power lines. So that it's a different type of science, but it's still, if you see a problem and there's a problem associated with high voltage transmission lines, then you do something about it. The, the Minnesota Department of Health, which is the, the paper that Excel refers to in their documents indicates that precautions should be taken and the first thing uh, should be considered is, uh, is staying away from the power line. And going forward from tonight, it's kind of going to be turned over to the public. They can give their comment. What kind of reaction are you expecting at these public hearings especially? Well, we, we've we been working with people now for a year here in western Wisconsin uh, and organizing and people here are very, very opposed to the power line. We anticipate people are going to be saying they don't want this built here. I think the question is, will the leaders of this community, the elected leaders, the business leaders, stand up and say, we don't need this power line, it's not safe, it's not healthy, and it's not for the economic benefit of our community. We need power. We can get power through smaller transmission lines, the type we have now. The only reason we have this 345 kilovolt power line is to transfer power from one end of the region, which is north and south of Florida, all the way to Indiana and, and Michigan, and it has to pass through Wisconsin on these big power lines to get there. That's the reason they need these high voltage power lines, which are dangerous. They don't need it for the lacrosse, the Nona, uh, western Wisconsin area. Wisconsin statistics that we presented tonight, the Public Service Commission said we have adequate energy for Wisconsin through 2016 with 15% margin. And going forward, this is technically a decision that's not legislative, it's the PSC. Do you think politics is necessarily going to play a role in this? Politics definitely plays a role. We already have a dep uh, the Public Service Commission that has said that uh, there is no need for this in their draft environmental impact statement. And so now uh, the decision will be made to have a final DIS, and we expect that that final environmental impact statement will come out saying that there is a need. And so what, why do the technical people in the Public Service Commission, the economists, the engineers, say one thing, that we don't need this in the document? And soon there will be a, a final EIS come out, and it will probably say we need it. So there has to be politics involved in this. And, you know, as we said here tonight, uh, two of the uh, public, two of the three public service commissioners are appointed by Governor Walker, and they're going to decide. So basically two of his appointees are going to decide whether this is a go or not and where it's going to go. So I think people need to realize that this is a time to talk about not just the routes and where it's going to go, but whether we actually need it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your time. Yeah. Good night.